Hello there, everybody. This is Brax here from Endgamer, and we're going to be playing some Kirby's Adventure today. I just felt like playing this, so maybe you guys would enjoy joining along as I adventure through Dreamland. We're going to start off with Vegetable Valley, level 1 here. And uh, we'll be going through this 100%. It's really not that difficult. In fact, uh, it's more difficult to not beat this game 100%. That's not true. Um, <laughs> but it's not much more difficult to beat this game 100% than it is just to beat it. So I figured I may as well. Why not? All you got to do really is, is go through each door uh, to each level. And you'll know you've beat it when you've probably found a switch. Like, you know you've beat it 100% when you've found a switch in the level... And the door goes white afterwards. If it stays orange, that means you probably missed something. Uh, so, a little bit about me, since you guys don't really know me that well. Um, even if you've been watching Endgamer videos for a while, you probably don't know me very well. And that's because I'm rarely ever in them. Uh, I was in the Mario Party, uh, Mario Party 2 <laughs> on speed, let's play. Uh, that was me. I was Wario in that. Uh, that was, I'm pretty sure that was my debut. I don't think I was in any other videos. I am friends with the other two guys, uh, NG and Digga are their names. <laughs> They're aliases, I suppose. Um, I'm friends with them. Well, actually, NG is my brother, but that's besides the point. And, uh, I always helped them out with their stuff, like, gave them ideas for videos and all that stuff, uh... I just started doing their, their graphic design for the logos and, and banners and whatnot. Uh, but that was about as much as I did. Like, I didn't really do anything else. Um, I was kind of lonely. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be part of it. Uh, but I always had the option. I, I just didn't do it. But uh, I just recently decided I'd start making videos. So hopefully you like them. And that part's weird, because sometimes there will be three broom hatters there, but that time there was only two. And I don't know what causes that. Some weird non-game-breaking glitch, I suppose. Uh, this is Poppy Brother Sr. And that was pretty cool. <laughs> Those are Bronto Berts. I don't know all the Kirby enemy names, but I'm semi-familiar. Like, for example, that little flame guy right there, I have no freaking clue what his name is. No freaking clue. And I'm just going to call those fishes, um, fishes. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call them. They're, they're called fishes for now on. Sparky, I think, is his name? I don't know. I, I highly doubt anybody watching this video is really looking for that much detail. I don't think anybody's going to be that picky. Be like, oh, you called the... <laughs> you called the fish fishes. It's really bloop or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think it really matters. Have I been playing Kirby games a long time? Uh, uh, yeah, I suppose so. I suppose most of my life I have been. But when I was a kid, back in to 90s... <laughs> I, I had no idea that Kirby games were like this. The only games I knew that existed were Kirby's Avalanche and Kirby's Dream Course, which I now realize are the most obscure of the bunch, really, or some of the most obscure of the bunch. And the, 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 I did not know that. I loved Kirby still. absolutely loved the games. I uh, loved the character because he's so simple. I used to draw him with all my friends and make comics and stuff. But I had no freaking clue he, he did this kind of stuff. Which is interesting. Um, but I didn't play video games until a year after this game came out. This game came out in 1993. Uh, the first one, Kirby's Dream Land for the Game Boy, came out in 92. Um, I didn't get video games until I was four years old. When uh, I got a Super Nintendo... And Donkey Kong Country, which is my favorite game series of all time. But that's besides the point. So, yeah, that's why I didn't really know Kirby games like that existed. I was fairly young at the time. I was born in 90, so when I got video games, I was 4. Got my Super Nintendo in 94. But, uh, 
I wish I had have known. It would have been great to grow up with this game a bit more. I mean, it wasn't that late by the time I got into the, the actual Kirby games. But, you know, it would have been nice to have this growing up. It's partially why I decided to play it, I suppose. Just to experience it. Kirby's one of my favorite characters, and no sense not playing the games. <laughs> So we're pretty much going to be able to beat World 1 within one video here. That's my goal. Uh, see, you can see how the door goes white when you've completed everything. There's no switches or anything in the first world, so we don't have to worry about like completion and all that stuff. We pretty much just play the level as we want. Do whatever. This guy's name is Mr. Frosty? Mr. Freeze? <laughs> Mr. Freeze. It's not Mr. Freeze. Um, you can't see it as well in, in the NES version of this game, but there's a little animation he does. He shows you his butt. Uh, <laughs> just to, to mock you. Just to taunt you, I guess. He's a little cocky, that Mr. Freeze guy. Mr. Freeze. That's Batman, not Kirby. Just continue freezing everything. Killing all the cute innocents. <laughs> That's really what Kirby games are about. I'm not sure these characters are working for anybody. I've never I've never looked into that. I think they're just placed there as obstacles, and that's pretty well it. That's their purpose in life, is to just get in your way. Which is truly evil. <laughs> Uh, the game hates when you do this. If you jump through shots while well, you have invincibility, the game just lags like a mofo. Oh. Oh, just got there. So if you get to the top, if you haven't noticed the first time I did it, you get a 1-up. That's pretty handy. So we've already made it to the boss, and this is going to take literally, uh, I'm not sure what my estimate would be, nine seconds? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, okay, even shorter. Those are, <laughs> those are rough seconds. Those are my seconds. So I'm guessing that... Ice Kirby is where they got the idea, you know, for Super Smash Brothers for Blue Kirby. Like his alternate color. So here we are. We've made it to World 2 now. Uh, we'll continue this next time. Thank you very much for watching.